let's take a look at other ways to move that light. So far we've had left, right, forward, back on a very small scale. If we bring the light down, it creates an entirely different effect. Now I'm confident that you can see how the highlights and shadows are changing. But to make it really obvious, I'm going to turn out the other lights. Now that we only have the key light, we can really understand what it's doing. I'm going to bring the light back up. And light from below tends to look fairly unnatural because we are oriented towards the sun. We're used to seeing light coming from above or through windows from the side, but it's usually has some kind of elevation. So to make this look more natural, I'm going to elevate this lamp. Just using a stack of books, look how things change. If I elevate it even more, Watch what happens in the eye sockets as I bring the lamp up high, really high. Now the eyes start to get fairly dramatic when you do this. Let's see what happens when I push it back. That has a lot of drama and mood to it. I'm going to bring the lamp forward until I see this cheekbone a little bit. So that's close to a fairly classic Renaissance lighting. And all we have to do now is add some fill light. So I'll bring the rest of the, uh, the lights up. Oh, before I do that, if you can plan, it, it's worth playing around with the light just to see what happens. If you can move it really high. You can move it out here, that's really nice. That's sort of a beauty lighting. If you can get it dramatic and then get it low enough so it fills in the lights, you get a really beautiful light. And that's what the key light in um, those beauty ads do. Obviously, they're filling in the shadows, so the shadows are not as harsh, but this is what the key light is doing. Let me bring it back to where we were. And then bring up the house lights. So these lights that I'm going to bring up now are going to fill in ambient light. They will fill in our shadows. I'm just turning some key ones off. But they won't fill in the shadows so much that we can't see them. We'll still be able to see the structure that we created with the key light. So that's some nice lighting. I could turn off more ambient light.
and get it a little more dramatic without getting too dramatic. So the point here is to play with moving your key light around first and then add some fill lights in. Whether you're doing it with other lights in the house or in your room or if you have a reflector of some sort, even if it's some white piece of paper, work on your key light first and then use everything else as your fill light.